viewers assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel today seems to be a heavy rainy day and we felt like eating something hot and spicy so i suddenly decided to make sri lankan special cassava cutlet is manyukka we call it or you can call it yuka root in certain countries you have different names but in sri lanka we call it manyukka and here we call it yuka root and in india i think they call some other names so in tamil you call it maravalli kalangu so let's get started and check out the ingredients it's 5 o'clock in the evening you can see it's, it looks really dark and gloomy it has been raining all evening so let's check out the ingredients now we need only few ingredients just like the regular cutlet so about 400 grams manyoka cassava and one small tin of tuna chunks half onion finely chopped five cloves of garlic finely chopped and a handful of curry leaves finely chopped about two green chilies sliced very thin spices i'll show you when i add to the add while cooking so it's very few spices and salt for the batter we need about half cup all purpose flour and one egg and some bread crumbs so that's all and we need oil to fry the cutlets the water has started boiling I remove the skin and cut this cassava the manyaka into small pieces and now let's boil it the water is boiling so let's put it I'm adding a very little salt and pinch of turmeric powder and don't overcook it you can even pressure cook it but don't overcook it because it will retain more water and the mixture will become soggy so i'm going to just boil it in water like this in a pan and then we'll do the rest the cassava has cooked well i'm going to mash it mash it really well otherwise it will crack the cutlet so mash it really well mash it while it's still hot so that we mash it very well Now let's cook the onions. I'm going to add about 2 tablespoon oil. Add some jeera seeds and a pinch of mustard seeds. Add the garlic. the curry leaves a 
and the garlic becomes golden color gives a nice aroma and now let's add the onion add some salt so the onions will cook faster this gives a nice aroma Now this has been cooking for a minute. I'm going to add the green chilies. Now add the spices. I'm adding red chili flakes and some pepper powder. Check for the spices, don't add too much. And very little cumin powder jeera powder and just a pinch of turmeric because we have added for the the manjok also so don't add too much of turmeric now let's cook it fast and then add the tuna at this point add the tuna Now I add the cassava. Let's mix it very well. And I have switched off the heat. I don't want this to cook again. Now it has turned out perfectly. I'm going to cool it down and then I'm going to make the balls. Now let's make the batter. I'm going to add the eggs. Add some water. Now I'm going to make balls. Now this is cool enough to make balls. Now let's coat the cutlets. The cutlets are ready. The breadcrumbs and the batter so if you roll it like this becomes a good shape and the bread comes will stick very well now let's start frying Now let's remove this. I fried in medium heat and small batches. Don't fry in big batches. That way 
the cutlets will break or crack kasava manyoka cutlets are ready for serving now they are very delicious please do try out this recipe it's, it's in fact it's better than the potatoes i really liked it hope you enjoyed my video if you are watching for the first time please subscribe like and share with your friends see you soon with another sri lankan recipe thanks for watching